In 1095, a desperate call for help was dispatched to the head of the Catholic Church, Pope Urban II. Sent from the imperial court of Constantinople, it came from his Eastern Christian rival, the political master of the Greek Orthodox Church, the Byzantine Emperor Alexius I. The power of Alexius' empire was slipping. The influence of his Orthodox Church had once stretched as far as the Holy Land of the Middle East. Islam was now the dominant force in the region. The Seljuk Turks were recent converts to Islam. They had emerged from the steppes of Central Asia and swept down into the Middle East in search of land. Fearsome warriors. Their armies numbered tens of thousands. They seized control of the Muslim territories of Persia, Syria, and Palestine, and finally captured the holy city of Jerusalem. Then they turned their gaze north and stormed their way to the doorstep of the great Byzantine capital, Constantinople. The status quo, the existing power politics, the power balance of the region was changed. The Byzantines had lost a great area of taxation, of recruitment for troops. They'd lost a lot of prestige as well. By 1095, the Emperor Alexius was desperate to strike back. But he couldn't do it alone. He appealed to the Pope, in the spirit of Christian brotherhood, to send an elite force of knights to help him keep the Turks at bay. He presented Pope Urban with a perfect opportunity to enhance his political power. You've got to understand that the popes of that period were politicians. Much more so than they are now. Even now, the, the current pope intervenes in politics uh, all the time. But at that time, the popes were big players, scheming, manipulating, intriguing, uh, politicking. They were basically uh, the politicians of the church. Pope Urban was set to hijack the misfortune of the Byzantine Empire. He would launch his own holy war against Islam. A crusade that would strengthen his papacy and put Rome back at the center of the world political stage. The idea of the crusade satisfies a number of particular agendas for the Pope. It allows him to increase his authority over the knighthood of Western Europe at the expense of other secular rulers. It directs the violent knights away from their practices of brutalizing the church in the West. It also rolls back the infidel. It begins to allow the Christians to reclaim the holy places. In November 1095, the Pope performed a spellbinding open-air sermon outside the town of Clermont in France. It was a rallying call to princes, knights, clerics, and the common man to wage a war under the banner of the Catholic Church. Urban must have been a remarkably charismatic and effective speaker. It, being at his speech must have been like being at, at some kind of, of mass rally, a, a Billy Graham crusade, a pop concert, something like elements of all of those things together. There were thousands and thousands of people there. His sermon was a cunningly crafted piece of religious spin. Spiced with exaggerated tales of Muslim atrocities against Christian pilgrims living in the Holy Land, it demonized the Turks and presented the crusade as the apocalyptic war of two faiths. His words seem to proceed from God were received by young and old alike eagerly as a command from on high. The cradle of our faith, the native land of our Lord, and the mother of salvation is now forcibly held by a people without God. For many years now, the wicked race of Saracens, followers of unclean practices, have oppressed with tyrannical violence, the holy places where the feet of our Lord rested. 
dogs have entered into the holy places. Priests have been slain in the sanctuaries. Virgins forced to choose between prostitution and death by torture. The emotional intensity of the moment was very high. And when the end of the speech was reached, uh, Urban gave an appeal and people came forward from the crowd to, to take the cross, literally to take strips of cloth and put them on their, their clothing, uh, over their breast, over their heart uh, perhaps, and to indicate that they were taking vows and were going to go to the east to rescue their brothers.